Got it's a 2013 Chevy van. Uh, it has a 4L60E transmission. It has the newer 4L60E transmission that has the uh, internal input speed sensor in there and look like it has the internal transmission range uh, park reverse neutral switch in there um, I want to look at something here the customer brought his own solenoid over there it's, uh, a, what it was is a uh, torque converter clutch solenoid said he had a torque converter clutch cold and he looked it up online and that's what the problem pretty much was and he asked me to change the torque converter clutch solenoid. Now normally, when a person diagnoses their own problem, only thing I have to do is do what they say. Uh, but a lot of times you have some people who are very tricky. Uh, they don't want to pay a diagnostic fee. What they do is bring their part there and then say, uh, if you need it, use it. <laughs> so you have to watch them. So I said, no, 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 no. If you want me to change it, then you tell me to change it, I'll do it. That stopped me from having to worry about diagnosing. I'll do it. And then I, if I put that in, I know it's not that. But in any event, he needs a transmission. The trans is slipping in third gear. But I wanted to play around with this right here for the moment. What I have is the engine RPMs up, um, the transmission uh, ISS, which is... Um, input speed sensor and the transmission output speed sensor up and right now it's in park gear so the engine rpm is showing and so is the uh, speed sensor the internal or input speed sensor in park when you put your the um, gear selector into drive or reverse I'm in reverse now the internal speed sensor stopped working or, or the ISS stops working goes to zero and that still works so you you can see that also on a graph so I have this graph here and you can see where the blue is the engine speed the green is the ISS and the red is the OSS okay the red is right at zero because you have to be moving for that even to do anything and the the other two are right beside each other so again when I put this in reverse stop the input shaft from moving it drops down to zero as you see that green line went down to the zero bottom and it will stay there until I either put it in neutral or in park so I'm gonna put it back in park and it jumps his way right back up there with the blue engine RPM speed. Okay, now, what I want to play around with is finding out if I can see if this graph will show me if something is slipping just based on how the graph acts. So, I noticed when it shifted, there was a very sharp. Let me put this in part. I got it in part. There was a very sharp reaction on a shift now I'm going to goose this throttle and show you when I goose the throttle you see it had it went up and it had a very sharp curve up and down I'll do it again that was more rounded so let me try again okay pretty much sharp right here and it goes down but if I raise the motor slightly and then go down raise it up and then slowly take my foot off the pedal then you get more of a rounded like pattern on this graph okay so I'm gonna do it again raise up and then slowly let off get more of a rounded like pattern okay I'm gonna snap it again and you get a sharp get these sharp edges up there okay I'm gonna do it again let's snap it still get some sharpness up there okay now gradually up 
and gradually that off. Now it's more rounded. Now, when I was looking at this and I looked at when it slipped, I saw that third gear, which is slipping, had this type of a pattern, which was a, a rounded pattern. And I thought that might be interesting to see, just in case you can't hear if something is shifting, you can pretty much look and see when something is slipping based on the graph pattern. So I'm gonna take this for a ride and one and two is going to shift. It's going to make a good shift. So let's see here. <clears throat> Take a full ride here. All right, let me get on this street. Okay, right now I'm riding. Now, I'm going to come to a stop. I am in drive. And I'm going to make make the shift here and I want you to look at this pattern see if it shows here it goes uh, let me take off okay first shift you shift real you see a sharp now that's the slip right now I'm slipping you see the slip right there that's the slip I'm going to try this again. Good slip. See that hump there? Now it's slipping. That's the slip right there. That's the slip. Okay, I'm going to stop again. The one, two shift is good. The two, three is where the slip is. So, let's go again. Now, you see how it's rounded right there? Letting you know that something is not right looking based on the RPMs. Okay. Alright, where am I? See if I can run a little more. It goes straight down. It's like the um, the green line, which is the input speed sensor, it, it drops straight down on the shift. But it doesn't drop straight down when it slips. Okay, let's go again. Slipping right now. Okay, let me go back around. Okay. Stop again over here. Look at it again. Okay, that was the slip right there. See how long it went and then slowly came down. Okay, coming up to the stop here. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, I'm at a stop. I hear the fire department, so. Here we go. Let's watch it. 
cake comes straight down. The other one, there was the slip. All right, well, I'm just looking at this uh, scanner. Not sure if I can use this, but we're supposed to be able to look at signals like this to see something. There's the slip right there. The other one was not the slip. Maybe if you don't hear the shift, you can determine um, the slip by looking at this uh, raft. Maybe that's how you can look at something there. But I'll keep that in mind. Maybe you can use it. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But it's best to play with the scanner because sometimes you may be able to detect something that somebody else can't detect if you get used to your scanner and how to use it you know a lot of times people buy the next scanner that comes out and they don't pay attention to what their scanner can already do you now you look at signals that's what I'm looking for right here signals All right now I'm coming to a stop give me a good shift right here right now That's a good shift, hard shift. And you're slipping right now. And you see the difference between that shift and that slip. Now it's going back into third gear, slipping again as I go up this hill, dropping in and out. As it shift, what it do? It drops down as it shifts. Okay, so I guess you could use this to check some things out. Look at shift points. I didn't play this back. I didn't record this, but uh, I was able to see their shift points when it goes up. And when it comes down, the longer it is. Um, before it drops down, meaning it's taking a long time to shift. So, you know, the computer is looking at this. I guess we can look at it also through this. So, thought this to be interesting. Okay, I'm stuck here on the road, and I'm going to really get on this, and you're going to see there's a really definitive pattern when it goes up and down, when it actually makes that shift versus the slip. Okay, I'm just waiting until I get some space up here. Here we go. Get on it. Okay, really drop down and it's going up. The slip goes. See that rounded thing? 